Now back to Making a Difference. Only here on V81 Radio, South Manila. All right, now we are back on Making a Difference. For those who are just tuning in now, don't worry. You haven't missed out on a lot. We still have one more guest. But I've interviewed two guests already. We had Nate Nakar. He is, he, he is the CEO and co-founder of Guerrilla360 Integrated Solutions. So they're a tech company. Um, they provide services to different companies um here in the philippines and i've also interviewed justine narciso she is a freelance performer theater actress um she has done a couple of shows um but but we got to see um how uh, the virus right now is affecting um, nate's company and how it's affecting justine's career so we have one more guest. I have one more guest to interview. Her name is Gabrielle Tanyada. She is um, the head of communications and visibility for Assist. Hello, Gabrielle or Gabby. <laughs> Hi there. Thank you so much for the opportunity, Erica. For uh, this is such a great lineup of guests, and it gives us a chance from every sector to really share about what we're doing to make a difference. Yeah, I know. It, it's actually today's show is actually pretty exciting. Like I was, I was honestly excited to hear what you guys, you know, have to say about um, the whole ECQ and all that. But before we get into that, maybe you could tell the viewers something about yourself, um, where you graduated from, and how you got to working for Assist. Sure thing. So I'm Gabrielle Tanyada. I graduated from the College of Saint Benil studying consular and diplomatic affairs. Uh, I immediately started working for ASSIST, which is an NGO, Asia Society for Social Improvement and Sustainable Transformation. We do a lot of capacity building projects across various sectors like education, environment, agriculture, and more. We're currently exploring a lot of uh, solutions to the COVID crisis, such as assisting our frontliners, um, helping, up, helping out with emergency response, but it's a work in progress. Uh, if I can, shout out, we're also interested, if you are interested, I mean, in interning or volunteering with us, there are opportunities. Oh, great. Yeah, actually, I've yes. been seeing that for a <laughs> <laughs> So, sorry, Gabby, this is your first job, am I correct? Yes. At the college. How so long? I've been here been? for about three years. Three years. Wow, that, that's pretty long. <laughs> pretty for a millennial? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> All right. So, you mentioned a while ago that Assist is now trying to come up with different solutions or different programs. Um, maybe you could share a few that you could talk about what um, Assist is doing. So majority of these programs and projects are actually works, work in progress. Um, but one example that I can share right now is something called Master of Disaster. So it's a board game that we can use as an educational tool to teach uh, kids, players, adults, whoever, about disaster response and preparedness. So one thing that we're considering is adapting that board game to actually include pandemics, because there are many different disasters that we face these days, especially. And if it's fun to learn, then it's a great tool to use. Okay, so wait, okay, board game, meaning like... Yes. Monopoly, snakes and ladders, kind of board Pretty game. much. Travel across the board, learn about the most common disasters in the Philippines because it is localized. Uh, it's in English, Tagalog, and Taglish. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. yeah that, that's like a, a good way to get the attention of the children. You know, you have to, um, again, ad see, the word of the day is really adapt. Okay? Yeah. That, that, that is the word of the day adapt all right so what was your life like before the lockdown like uh, maybe you could tell us what you do exactly as head of communications and visibility sure 
So uh, as communications and visibility head, I help coordinate a lot of the reporting on the projects. So tracking what's going on, the impact that we're achieving for our beneficiaries and stakeholders. So for instance, I could say that for Master of Disaster, the board game, uh, in the past year, we were able to distribute more than a thousand board games to various schools in the Philippines and help with the local communities and uh, local government units deliver disaster preparedness trainings in collaboration with uh, youth leaders, fire departments, and more. So that's something that's been really exciting in the past year. Uh, beyond that, I also help uh, support the preparation of these assets that we can use to promote uh, mm -hmm. projects like this. Okay. And this is part of my job, speaking about it. <laughs> Oh, okay, okay, okay. Now it's getting kind of clear. So I, I, yeah. I'm kind of getting um, a gist of um, what you do. So um, do you, um, are you also on the field? Sometimes, if I'm lucky, I get to visit and then interview the beneficiaries themselves. But mm -hmm. uh, we have a specific department that handles project management and impl implementation. Oh, okay, I see. So have you ever visited at least once? Yes, mostly events though. I was actually support for one of the trainings for Master of Disaster. Um, I helped teach kids about how to play the game and then quiz them at the end. Oh, so that was really fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, where was this? Sorry. I think it was a barangay in QC. Ah, okay. Yeah, so if I remember here, correctly. Here in the metro. But this, um, I, I just want to talk more about the, um, sorry, Master of Disaster. Am I right? Yes. Okay. That's right. So the have you distributed it outside the metro or so far it's just here within the metro uh we've distributed it outside uh the way it works is that we actually partner with private companies so for instance we partnered in the past year with semex and we also got a partnership with uh the red cross the philippine red cross to distribute it in cebu too oh, okay so what's the farthest province um this master of disaster has been through. Or You're really testing me if I can recall <laughs> it straight from my memory. I'm so sorry. Um, I'm really curious. I had my Philippine geography. Oh my goodness. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's Cebu. Okay. But I know that we've also developed a version in Ilocano. So, Ilocano. Really? Wow. Okay. So, it's really, I mean, that, yeah. we have to, um, what you call this? We have to um, really get to those um, students. Yeah, I mean, like, and there are a lot of kids who um, honestly have the heart to learn. So props mm. to assist for doing okay. this. Um, I'm, I, I hope I get to see how the board game looks like. I'm just um, really... Maybe you could try to explain it. Like, how does it work? Is it like a... Sure, yeah. Maybe we could also play it together sometime. I'm sure I can borrow a copy. But okay. I just remembered a further place that we've actually uh, sent Master of Disaster to, and that's one of our country offices in India. So that's the furthest it's been. Okay, got it. <laughs> yeah. That, that, um, yeah, that. The way you play the game is that you there are about six players max on the board, and as you travel across the board, you face many different disasters. The most common disasters, which are typhoons, earthquakes, fires, and floods. Mm -hmm. uh, as you face these disasters, you can either face them alone or face them with your other your fellow players and they have the opportunity to save you by contributing the correct response to the disaster like for instance in the middle of the flood is it better to go out or stay indoors okay. what are you supposed to do and that's how um the education is incorporated into the game itself oh okay yes okay. now i really you can also it. buy it online oh really you deliver so right where, now where online like what platform you can order it through Gaming Library or through the Assist Facebook page, and we coordinate everything. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We should play that um one time. Okay. Just yeah. for the viewers, um, Gabby is actually my college best friend. <laughs> yeah. So that's why we we seem pretty close. But anyways, okay. So, given the whole. Lockdown, the whole quarantine, ECQ, MECQ, GCQ. What is your life like right now? What maybe you could share like um, a day to day, your day to day schedule um, working for Assist? So, um, unfortunately for me, my office typically is, uh, sorry, my work is typically office based. 
So I can still do most of it from home instead of going out to the field. But my fellow colleagues don't have that opportunity if they're field based. So um, I can still sign on uh, to our platform eight to five like that uh, every day, every weekday. Um, but it is a challenge because our activities are limited. Some of them. Oh dear. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Okay, so since yeah. we aren't able to directly meet with our beneficiaries, we aren't able to deliver the impact that we want to see. And it's tough to manage. Again, like you said, we're trying to adapt. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, yeah, you have to be able to learn how to manage it. But what are your thoughts on the whole ECQ, MECQ, GCQ, <laughs> all the CQs? <laughs> I have a lot of thoughts and opinions mm -hmm. about what's going on right now. Um, yeah. I definitely agree with what our previous guest said about um, mass testing. Right. Um, it's important to maintain discipline during the quarantine, even when it's over, even though we're, we are sort of under a modified quarantine in Manila, we have to be vigilant about um, social distancing, maintaining hygiene and cleanliness um, mm -hmm. throughout, even when this is all over. But right. It's also important to understand that we can't let ourselves buckle under the anxiety or the worry that this may be causing. Um, we have to stay hopeful because there will be a vaccine and we will survive this eventually. We'll learn to adapt and survive. Mm, right. How about you? How is it going over there? You have this radio show. Oh, okay, this is the first time I've been asked a question. <laughs> I like it. Um, okay, sorry, what was your question? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about the whole situation and how are you learning to adapt? Okay, what do I think about the whole situation? Um, this is something new to all of us, especially our generation, because we're not used to this. We're not used to staying at home. We're not used to working. Well, maybe there are some who are used to um, working from home, but again, we're all not used to this. So for me, I mean, okay. Um, for the viewers, just a side, just a sidetrack a bit. I used to be homeschooled. I grew up studying at home. So I am actually kind of used to it. Um, I just started leaving the house, of course, when I went to college. And then um, I started working and all that. So... I'm pretty used to staying at home. Um, how am I doing? I'm pretty okay. <laughs> um, I, I'm taking this time actually to really um, take a step back because I'm really the type to do something. Like I'm doing so much and you know that. Like I'm right. never, like I'm always on my feet. So th during this time, I told myself, okay, you know what? I, I, need, to take, I need to take a step back. And um, really focus on, um, how do I say it? Focus on working on myself. Um, I've been working on myself physically, mentally, oh, even spiritually. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm trying to look at this um, from a positive perspective. We, we have to try. We have to try to look at this in a positive way. Um, besides than that, of I've been um, working actually. Um, well, with VAT One, they just got me. So again, thank you so much, VAT One Radio. I'm so happy to be part of this family. Um, and this is what I've been busy with. Um, besides than that, I also work for Wonder Sky. Uh, Wonder Sky is a retail brand. Actually, you can check them out. I, I'm actually about to start also going um, on Instagram live for them. So that's what, but again, um, I'm just, I've actually, I've, I've never been out of the house. Uh, I think I only went out once um, and it was a complete ghost town. Yeah. So this is really something different. Um, everybody is challenged, not just us, but, you know, people, um, in charge they're really challenged this is really challenging i cannot imagine um if, if i were in their position you know me too i i'd be very rattled but 
so far, you know, we got this. We can do this together. We just have to really work together. Really yeah. work with one another. Again, um, I, I know I mentioned this. I was actually interviewed before by Tita Gracie, who also has a show here on V81 Radio. And I said the same thing. And I'm going to say the same thing. You know, just if we're going to go out, um, social distancing, guys, masks, all that, we have to, we can't just think about ourselves. We have to think about right. other people as well. You know, we have to think of our families, our mom, dad, lolo, lola, titos, and titas. You know, so we have to really be careful and just, um, yeah, think about others. So thank you for asking me that question. <laughs> You're welcome. And here, congratulations on all your endeavors. There's so many. <laughs> I, I spoke too long, but um, th <laughs> thanks for that, Gabby. But anyway, so um, going back to you, yeah, um, mass testing, I guess, right now is really important. Everybody's waiting for that, mm -hmm. for the whole mass testing. And yeah, just by staying safe. Um, if if we don't need to go out, just stay at home, you know. I agree. I yeah. guess that's also a takeaway from your show, besides adapting, is that regardless of what sector you're in, what age you are, how big or small you feel, you can make a difference. And that difference can be good or bad, depending on how conscious you are of mm. the change you make and you can impact. I so. love that. Huh? Thank you Thank so you. much for saying that. <laughs> yeah, that, was, that was really nice. I hope everybody heard that and understood that. But we have a question. Um, I just uh, here by N N M. Miss Gabrielle, how much is the game board, and where can we order? <laughs> okay, so someone's uh, asking. So it's actually the retail price is two thousand five hundred pesos. Okay. You can buy it, like I mentioned uh, before, on Gaming Library or through contacting us on Facebook. Uh, but I know that we are selling it at a discounted rate now and with free delivery if you do it through Facebook. Oh, okay. Yes. No, I will check that out. Actually, after this, after the show, I'm going to check it out. Hey, it's a All good right. gift. <laughs> I, I know. I mean, it, 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 it will also be good to give it to, like, if you have, like, nieces and nephews oh, or yeah. cousins. That would Absolutely. be really great. Yeah. But also learning as a family, too. That would be nice. Mm. Yeah. So, anyways, thank you so much. Gabby for sharing your insight. Actually, before we end, I want to invite our two other guests. Maybe we could call back Nate Nakar and Justin Narciso. Let's all be on the screen together. There we go. Hello, Hello. everyone. Hello we are now on screen all together. Um, okay. Before um, our last words, um, I'd like to read out a few comments if we could flash them. Let's flash some comments. I've been reading some. There are some like, go. Um, okay, are we gonna flash some? There we go. Okay, so um, you saw that. I already answered that. Uh, maybe we can move to the next comment. Um, what? It's actually quite a few, honestly. Um, <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Justin Ortiso and Gabriel Tanyada. <laughs> Thank you. How do you how do you I mean like how do you guys know each other? Um Okay, there. Nice to hear Justine, very optimistic. And yes, can't wait to watch your shows. Actually, I do want to see Justine live. I will She's great. She's <laughs> definitely I watch all of them. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, maybe we'll read. Okay. Congratulations, Mr. Nakar. Wondering if you're related to Mr. Don Don Nakar. Who I is mean, Don Don Nakar? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> He's my dad. I guess that whoever whoever asked that. Don Don oh, Nakar is my oh. dad. Oh, okay. wow. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh, again, congratulations to Nate on his business venture. You are indeed doing well with 20 employees. Wonderful. So work. Linda Misson. Linda Misson is my lola. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> thank you. Really, yeah, but thank you. Yes, I agree with that. Maybe one more. Uh, one more comment. If, yeah. Would love to watch you someday. Uh, Just oh, she's so sweet. Yeah. Yeah. I'll get you guys free tickets. <laughs> oh, Come okay. and watch 
Actually, she's in the states right now. I'm surprised that she's still awake. Hi, Lola. I hope you're okay Aww, over support. there. She just, yeah, she just went support, back. Yeah. yeah, super supportive. Even support. when she was here, she's, oh, my whole family is basically. But okay. Oh. Um. Oh, there's there's one more. Rashid. Um. Just tuning in. We'll have to watch the replay. Yes, watch the Please. replay. Um. Today was actually pretty fun. Pretty. Is it not leisurely? <laughs> um, usually, no, not well, kind of, but then I've been We're interviewing the people, so, <laughs> you know. All right, so before we go, I do you guys have any last words, um, or like tips to the viewers? Shout out if you have, maybe you can start again with Nate. Any, yeah, last words? um, yeah. well. I, I was uh, I, I really uh, what what Gabby said in her interview really resonated well with me. Um, no matter who you are, there's always a way to help. Um, and you can help in your own way. You know, you can as, as simple as cooking food at home to be sent over to the the guards in your village, or you know, people you know who are frontliners. They they don't necessarily have to be medical personnel. You know, people working in banks, people working in the supermarkets, the ones who expose themselves were exposed um to keep you to, to basically offer their services for you right so yeah there's uh, many ways you can help out the community i'd like to shout out um everyone from gorilla 360 hi guys <laughs> um shout out to my business partners um uh randall few mark segal on oh, shout out to my mom hi mom my girlfriend will watch Rhea, hi. Hi. hi all my family members I don't know if my dad's watching, but yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Don't, 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 don't. By the way, I'm trying to be an artist also, like a little side thing. So if you guys want to, oh. I think I saw someone ask a question if I if I could if I knew how to sing. Yeah, I, I, you I can search. Like, no, I'm reading. Really, maybe you could somewhat sing like uh -huh. a short. Line. I, have a, I have a really bad short <laughs> throat, but oh, you can guys oh, like, check me out on Spotify <laughs> under Nate Solomon. So okay. if you guys are watching, if you guys are. Yeah, I want to listen to some chill music. I'm not that good. I'm okay. I'm I'm just trying it out. <laughs> I'm just trying it out. It's a, a new yeah, hobby. But, yeah. And thanks again a lot for V81 Radio and Eric and Mason for, for having me here. Really fun stuff. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you also so much. Um, yeah, people want you to sing apparently, but I guess, you know, he <laughs> just a lie. can sing. Just a lie. Just, 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 just <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, guys, check out. <laughs> Nate Solomon on Spotify. He's on Spotify. <laughs> Thank you, Nate. How about Justine? Any last one? I uh, also want to shout out to my family um, for all their support and for being one of those families that actually encourage you to continue and pursue theater because that's uncommon. <laughs> and I also want to shout out to Anton Peralta. Thank you for watching, Anton. And also to my Kumu followers because I just want to, in case they're tuned in, um, a lot of them individually have been doing amazing work for their barangays frontliners, like individually. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, and I, I I actually have a couple of messages sometimes every now and then because Kumu had a Care to Share campaign that was raising money for mm -hmm. frontliners. So um, everyone involved in that was helping in their small, uh, in their very small ways. Some just uh, accumulating enough donations to be able to give their own versions of relief goods to everyone that's working for uh, their barangay and all the frontliners. Shout out to you, Po. Thank you for all your hard work, especially during this ECQ. You are doing amazing 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 work and you are so so very very brave thank you for fighting for us as we continue to live our lives um in the comfort of our own homes thank you for your sacrifice thank you thank you also how about gabby gabrielle Tanyada? yes um i want to make a shout out to also my boyfriend who supports me always <laughs> and uh to my family who's probably watching i told them to uh to my coworkers who i hope are not watching or they might. <laughs> uh, no, I'm just kidding. If anyone's interested in, again, interning or volunteering with us, feel free. Um, and thanks to you too, again, Erica, for giving all, us from different sectors uh, this great opportunity to yeah. make, to share what we have going on and share how we're making a difference. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate you guys being on the show. Uh, you, you guys got to, you know, really voice out what you wanted to say. And again, everybody has a voice and we deserve to 
you guys deserve to be heard. And that's why I got you guys on this show. So thank you guys so much. I hope you guys had fun also. Yes, um, thank, thank you, Erica. <laughs> you guys take care. Okay, stay safe. Shout out to Andrea Zubiri, by the way, who's watching. Ah, yeah. Oh, Our best that. friend with Erica, yeah. Our, okay. <laughs> Um, another side note um, to my viewers, na katawa talaga ako kasi best friend ko din si Nate. <laughs> um, he's, actually, he's actually my neighbor. New best yeah. friend naman niya si Justine. New best friend. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> best friend. Best friend. Yes, I know. Best friend. Oh, Kumu. oh my God. Yeah. Let's, let's go on Kumu soon, like tonight or something. Go to Justine's channel on Kumu. We might just be there. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, then I, my it might go away, right? <laughs> I love that the show is, you know, bringing people together as well. Yeah. Really great. Yeah, but yes, hi, Andrea. If you're still watching, we miss you. Nita and I miss you. So, <laughs> hearts. All right. So, thank you guys so much. Um, I hope to thank see you guys. You, so much, you guys yeah. take care and stay safe. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. All right, so that concludes the show, everybody. Uh, I, I hope you guys super enjoyed. I mean, I enjoyed. It was something um, different. Um, I wanted to. I wanted this episode. I wanted this episode actually to be sort of different from what um, you've been seeing these past four episodes. So this. Today is my fifth episode, and I just want to thank you guys so much for those who are constantly watching, um, making a difference, um, and being and watching also the other shows on V81 Radio. Thank you guys so much for the support. We really, really appreciate it. Um, I actually have a shout out list because I didn't do that last week, so I have a list right now. Um, I want to shout out to my Lolo, Lolo Rudy Ancheta. I hope he's watching. Hi, Lolo. We miss you and we love you so much. I hope you're, you're doing well. And I hope we could come visit you when this is all over. Love you, Lolo. Um, next, I have the Local Youth Development Council of Muntinlupa. Guys, I hope you're watching. Kung nanonood kayo, kamusta kayo dyan? Super miss ko na kayo lahat. Um, I hope na we could meet ulit as a council or sige kahit online muna. Um, I hope you guys are staying safe. These... The Local Youth Development Council, these members, um, uh, they're, my, you know, they're my council members. I'm actually part of the council. So just a brief background, we, we come together and we, um, we actually crafted the Local Youth Development Plan of uh, Montenlupa City. So it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a plan that... Um, uh, the SK and the youth organizations in the city follows. So, yeah, I'm part of that council. And I hope my council members are also watching. Uh, miss ko na kayo. Okay, next, um, my um, Tita Patty Helado. She commented the last time. I wasn't able to see it. I just saw it a few days ago. But hi, Tita. Uh, you've been watching since day one. I'd like to thank you for the support. Um, and we hope to see you soon. We we miss you. Next, we have, of course, yung tech team natin ng V81 Radio. Kuya Robbie, Ate Din, and Ate Ana, she handles the social media. But basically, the tech team, um, salamat po talaga um, sa, sa tulong nyo sa, sa akin and sa V81 Radio. Um, hopefully, uh, I get to see you guys in person. I mean, through through ano lang tayo through technology lang tayo pero thank you sa ano sa lahat ng ginagawa nyo para sa amin sobrang grateful kami sa inyo so thank you thank you thank you um another one is Ericel Mary Alberto I hope you're still watching I hope you're still watching she is a fashion and pageant model in Batangas so um for those who need a model in Batangas contact her, Ericel Marie Alberto. Hi, Ericel. I hope you're doing okay. Um, I hope na nanonood ka pa rin. Um, thank you also sa support for um, so making a difference. See, ang haba ng list ko, but I'm almost done. Um, we have, okay, my cousin, she's a frontliner. Just a few days ago, she was placed in PGH COVID ward. Hi, Ate Mavi. I'm not sure if you're watching this, but 
um, shout out to Ate Mabi Ditching and to all of those who are working, and not just in the PGH COVID ward, but to all the frontliners out there. Thank you so much. I know we know that you're risking your lives just to um, just to really take care of those who are sick, those Filipinos who are sick. So we really, really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. And, you know, I hope you guys stay safe. Ate Mabi, if you're watching, um, take care always. We love you. Um, and last but not the least, um, nag-comment a while ago si Sir Rolly. Hi, Sir Rolly and Sir Charlie. Um, yes, they're, they're actually my mentors. I think they're everybody's mentors, but... Um, Hello po. I actually na miss ko na silang kausap. <laughs> Hindi ko na masyado sa na nakakausap but hello Sir Rolly, Sir Charlie. I hope you guys are doing okay. Um stay safe and I hope to see you soon. Um before I before I end this, we have two more shows actually after my show today. We have one more we have a show at 6 p.m. It's called Madam Venus at Your Service. So the title of our show is Positive Power of the mind and horoscope if you guys are interested tune in at 6 p.m and then we have another one up at 9 p.m hosted by dj robbie saturday night love life between unmarried and married man pretty interesting um yeah so we have two more shows today um i hope you guys could tune in also if you guys are interested um one last thing we are on social media we are on facebook our website's also up v81radio.com um and yeah we're on facebook v81 radio we're on facebook i keep saying that okay and then um making a difference is also on facebook so if you guys have any comments any suggestions um uh any feedback uh, about the show for the show please feel free to message us um I will personally um, try to reply to you guys. But again, thank you guys so much. Uh, na ko. So I think I'm going to end this um, with a reminder to stay safe. If you guys don't need to go out of the house, I suggest you guys stay at home. Um, always, again, like what I mentioned a while ago to Gabby, try to think of this. Um, try to look at this from a positive perspective, from a positive angle. I know there are some of you who are having a hard time during this um, during this lockdown, but we will get through this together. We just need to work with each other. So, yeah, and don't forget to pray, always. That's number one. So... Thank you again so much for tuning in. Um, we Don't forget to watch next week. We still have another episode. And stay safe, everyone. Bye. The program for the millennials that will showcase young professionals' worth, aspirations, and successes in doing what they believe is right, progressive, and inclusive. Making a difference. Making a difference. Join them as they discover the path to self and societal fulfillment while making a difference. Hosted by empowered and cool millennial Eric Amazon. Together with her cool millennials, they will be making a difference. Every Saturday, 3 p.m. Philippine time. Only here on V81 Radio. South Manila Tunog Pinoy Tatap Pinoy The Future of Radio This is your all hits all Pinoy internet radio station This is V81 Radio Worldwide Ito ang paborito ng bawat Pilipino Basta all hits all Pinoy Manalo Merong kwentong iyakan at tawanan Kahit nasaan ka man ito'y mapapakinggan Oh,
Radio.